YouTube, what's going on? Solution for the Solution Kicks back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and smack that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things. And you too can be a part of the Four Kicks Brigade. So, with much delay, much waiting, much consternation, must he's bluffing, must what is he talking about? Where is the video? It goes down today. All right, first off, and first things first, is that um, I've had this shoe for almost a year. When I originally bought the shoe, this particular shoe was not for me, it was a gift. And um, just to get into it, it's actually a GS shoe. It was really dope, it was actually extended, and a lot of males bought this shoe. I did not like the shoe for me personally when I first saw it, it was a gift. And I said, hmm, had they not put this on here, I would have purchased a pair too, but they sold out in my area pretty, pretty fast. And I actually got my pair from the uh, Smithfield, North Carolina outlet, um, about an hour north of uh, Fort Bragg and Fayetteville when I was driving home last June. I think I got them for like 119, 120 or something. But um, matter of fact, I might have a receipt in the box. But you see the box right here, it's a pretty small box. And um, if you remember this sneaker, if you got a hint of what I'm talking about, it has some features that lets you know that this sneaker is going to hang around for quite some time. And that's why I really like it as well. Also like the color blocking and um, it's one of my favorite silhouettes in the Jordan lineup. So let's take a look at this sneaker once again before I get into it and uh, either fix or mess up the sneaker. <laughs> So right here, the Jordan 11 Eris. Straight dead stock, everyone. If I still have the Nike outlet bag in here. If you see me walk forward, I have a table right here, and I'm gonna use that table in a few minutes once I readjust the set. But as you see, straight dead stock, I still have the plastic covering on the gold jump man. And they did a lot of things right with this sneaker. Quick review to rehash some things. They did a lot of things right with this sneaker. You have the metal lace agulets, you got these wax corded laces, and um, you have the smoke sole. You have the smoked out sole, which you know this is not going to yellow, so the sneaker is going to be around for a while. Then you have the stitched in uh, two three. So they did a lot of things right with this sneaker that says, "Hey, it's dope," but they put the glittery stingray on the upper, which I did not like as a man for myself. Uh, shout out to all the men who bought this sneaker and they didn't modify it, anything like that and they were cool with it But I personally think this sneaker would have sold it ran off the shelves a little bit more Had this been all black with the gold hits or putting uh, gold right here on the mesh straps You never know what could have happened. They might do that anyway, but this sneaker was a hit and I was shocked to see um, a full Size run double up size run at the Smithfield outfit. I was like wow, what are these sneakers doing here? But yeah so what I'm going to do today, I'm not a customizer. Let's get first things first. Will I get into customizing sneakers later on? Who knows? Let's see how this goes. So what I'm going to do is take this flat, well, it's black acrylic leather paint from Angelus, and I'm going to basically paint the Stingray material a solid black. So it takes out the glitter effect from it. We're going to let it dry and see how it turns out. Um, <laughs> a lot of people say, man, you're going to mess that shoe up. I don't think it's a loss because I've had the sneaker on the shelf and I have not had this burning desire to wear the sneaker. Sometimes, you know, you take an L on it and um, the problem is, is that I may not be able to find the sneaker again if I'm upset with what I do with it. But I have all the materials, so let's get into We're going to take inventory of the materials before we start our project. You know, like the good soldier that I am and we're going to prep the area and we're going to get into it. All right, so we have all of our tools we're gonna to use today and our equipment. I'm gonna throw that piece of plastic over there. And, uh, hey, y'all like the nice little light. Peep that out. It's pretty dope, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna get another one of these for the backdrop and everything. I told you a lot of improvements are coming to the uh, set, if you will. <laughs> so of course we have our sneaker. We got our painter's tape. And our ever important Angela's black acrylic leather paint. We have some uh, sponge brushes right here for the larger areas. So it take this long. And we have some uh, folk art best for lettering, detailing, 
uh, brushes right here so I can get into the fine areas. Now, one thing I noticed with customizations that set your customization apart is if you can see paint bleed into the midsole into the other colors. So me being OCD, I'm gonna try my best to inhibit that process and um, get that done. Um, shout out to my man Kenneth, who uh, does customization on his own sneakers. He um, actually said he used electrical tape. I'm not sure about electrical tape. I've painted things before and fine detail, and um, I'm okay with this, this uh, painter's tape right here first. So let's get into it. Okay, so now we have both sneakers prepped and ready to be trimmed up by the trusty X-Acto knife. Oops, I see a spot already for, you know, great disaster right here. So we're gonna add a little piece of tape right here by the smoked out sole so we don't have any paint bleed in that area. And really the, um, the key to it is uh, properly outlining the, uh, you know, the convergent points of the different areas of the shoe. And you see what I'm doing right now. I'm taking my fingernail and I'm getting the paint as close down into the conjoining areas where the two different materials merge. So that's what I'm doing. So the more that the tape is pressed down in there, close as possible, um, the less risk of paint bleed and you know it decreases your area error of margin you know it's just I didn't see this on a uh, customization channel this technique is just something I know from painting all right painting other things um, I painted my first model car when I was younger and it turned out pretty good uh, as far as it looking sharp and that's one thing when you see a lot of customizations you see like the the, the ripply lines and stuff it looks good um, from a distance, but when you get close up on the shoe, like, oh, okay, they got paint overlapping a little bit and stuff like that. And, um, you know, it, it kind of doesn't look as good as you would like it to when you get up close to the sneaker. But these are now prepped and ready. And um, I'm going to break out the X Acto knife and start trimming away. All right, so now I have my trusty X Acto knife, and um, we're about to start trimming. So now what I'm going to do for time purposes, I'm going to speed this up a little bit and um, start painting. <sighs> it goes nothing. So we start doing some bulk painting. You know something this is going to look dope looking at this already this covering yeah this is going to turn out awesome everyone
as a matter of fact, we can, because I haven't touched the other shoe. Let's do a little compare and contrast right now. It's not dry, by the way, obviously. But what do you think? All right, one. Well, so I've completed the first coat. I may not touch it anymore after this because these look good so far. That stingray glitter effect has pretty much been removed. It's um, a couple little spots in there that I may leave in there just for characteristic for character purposes, and I may take them out as well. I'm not sure. Trusty assistant, what do you think? Um, I think they look good the way they are. The little shimmer effects. It's, you know. yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in close. Shout out to Angelus right there. If you wanna rock with your man, holla at me, Angelus. Shameless self promotion there. The solution for kicks. All right, everyone, that concludes the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this modification video because it's not a customization. I didn't really change the colors or anything like that. I modified these Jordan 11 Airs. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, and tap the notification button so you too can be a part of the four kicks per game. And like I always say, it's not about how much you paid for the sneaker. It's why you pay that much. I'm out of here. Boom. the solution.